Howdy, I'm Lemmy from Revzilla TV, and I'm going to be talking about this cute seat today here on Revzilla TV. Actually, I'm Lemmy with Revzilla TV. I'm here to talk to you today about the Lapera Daytona seat for Harley. You should be looking into a Daytona seat if you want a seat that is styled similarly to your OEM seat, but provides a little more comfort and is crafted a little more finely. These things are currently being made for every single air-cooled Harley family out there. So sporty, Dyna, softy, touring, all of you guys have something. Feel free to use our bike finder and we'll show you only the seats that are going to fit your particular bike. Installation on these is cake, like most seats. You're looking at one beard on our three beard BSD, our beard scale of difficulty. These are going to take most people five to ten minutes to install. You should be out on the road after throwing one of these on your bike in just a few moments, feeling this seat underneath your tush. Let's get right into it. So the first thing that's going to jump out at you about the Lapera Daytona is probably the fact that it doesn't jump out at you. This thing is styled very similarly to an OEM saddle. You can see that there are pillion accommodations on here. Nothing about this seat is, is super strange in terms of its dimensions. It's not too wide, it's not too long, it's not too short. This thing is sort of a just right sort of seat. This is your, this is your perfect porridge, so to speak. So, like all the pair of seats, this thing is covered in marine grade vinyl, which we really like. It turns out that this is a fantastic stuff to cover a seat with. It's really durable, it holds up well the rigors of everyday riding. And you can see on this particular saddle too, it's got this cool pleated stitch pattern. It's not a full pleat, but this does harken back, you know, to the days of Cobra seats. Really is a nice way to lend a classy custom look to the seat without having some crazy seat pan style or some crazy seat shape that just looks weird and detracts from your bike. So flipping over here, you can see this thing is a uh, steel pan, which you can't see actually because the carpeting, but it is 14 gauge steel. These things are super thick. I love Lapera pans. That steel does a great job holding up over the life of the bike. It's not like an OEM plastic pan where it's going to crumble and, and, and heat and vibration you get to. It's going to crack and just, you know, turn soft. Rather, this thing remains rigid over the life of the bike. Now, it sounds kind of silly, but a rigid pan is actually one that's going to feel best to you. Instead of that pan flexing underneath you and failing to support you, this thing is going to be long and strong. It's going to hang out with you forever. This thing is going to hold you up over time. It's going to prevent the foam from breaking down and really make sure that long term you have a seat that is going to feel great. You can see here too they use these rubber bumpers. I really like these for two reasons. First, they elevate the seat off of the paint off of the, of the paint on the tins and also on your also from your frame. They're also going to help with a little bit of vibration isolation. They're going to keep those vibes from your V-twin from coming through your keister on you a little bit. They're going to help keep you a little more comfortable on the bike. And as I mentioned before, you can hear you can see here too this fully carpeted pan also assisting in paint protection, plus it presents a nice finished appearance to the bottom side of the seat for the few times you do have your seat off. Now with respect to installation, I had talked about this being a one bearder on our BSD or beard scale of difficulty and I wasn't kidding, this thing is cake. You're going to wind up installing the included bracket to this thing at the rear and then really it's just one point of attachment to get this thing onto your motorcycle. There's the tongue at the front on most seats and then at the rear you're going to have that, that single point of attachment depending on your year, make, and model. It might be something as easy as a bolt, could be a, you know, a flathead or a Phillips head screw or you may have something a little more exotic on there like a Torx bit but one basic hand tool should see you through this job, absolutely no sweat. This is a super comfy seat and it's going to be something that looks similar to OEM. So if you're not trying for that crazy custom look, if you want your bike to be comfortable but still retain a very rock stock look, the Daytona is definitely something that should be on your short list. My opinion is not the only one that matters though. Click below, check out some rider reviews, see what some folks who are already rolling one of these on their bike have to say about it. If you've got a fitment question or installation that I haven't covered, get in touch with one of our gear geeks. See us at Revzilla.com. You can always get us on the horn. 877-792-9455. I'm Lemmy. I'm out of here.